I've been looking forward to this moment for almost a year now. So this is my hair after I had my last haircut three years ago and it's finally time to go short again. I kind of want to make this into an epic occasion, getting all dressed up, but I do have to make the costume first. So, disclaimer, I know I have a Chinese background. I should have more respect to Chinese clothing. I'm going to try my best, uh, but I already bring this honor to myself, my family and society. So I'm just doing this as a fun project as I only get to do this once every three years. I try to use as many resources from my closet or secondhand shops. So this is just a very low budget and sustainable way for me as a beginner cosplay to practice. If you'd like to make this costume 100% accurate, uh, the Bring Honor to Us All sequence really shows all the layers Mulan is wearing. But I'm just gonna show you what I'll be using. So I'm starting out with this white colored shirt that I have. In the movie you can see that Mulan is wearing a white dress with a blue top on top. This is just easy for me to put up the collar um, and having worn traditional Chinese clothing before I know that in some dresses the white strip that you would see sticking out is basically a literal strip of white fabric so for the top that Mulan wears I found this perfect pink curtain fabric I believe and I will have to make the top myself um, but the sewing machine broke so I probably have to sew it by hand so for the purple color um, I have two options. One is just a tank top from the thrift store. Um, very saturated, but maybe also very nice. I think Disney Parks really has this color combination. Or I have a very desaturated kind of reddish, wineish purple. But this is a shirt that I already have and maybe want to wear again. So I'm kind of still adapting between these two. So for the underlay of the skirt, I have enough white fabric. I had a very lucky day at the thrift store, but on top of the white part, I found this dark red skirt and I will have to uh, take in this skirt uh, both on the length wise, but also in the waist. Probably just looking at the color combination, you might already see a little bit of Mulan in here. For the waist, I found this kind of strange strapless top um, I have to take off this ribbon I don't know how much I actually need from this it's not gonna be that much just gonna cover my waist but because it has very strong elastics I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it and as a rest detail I have some red fabric in storage but I'm too lazy and too uncomfortable to pick it up but it's also from a curtain, but I can basically use it to wrap my waist. So basically with only um, thrift store materials, I almost have the entire Mulan costume. As I have barely created garments from scratch, I followed another YouTube tutorial to get the structure somewhat right. I started with the bodice based on an existing shirt, making sure the parts in the front overlay from left to right, and afterwards I cut off any excess fabric. Then I freehanded the big sleeves, and like I mentioned, my sewing machine broke so I did everything by hand for this costume. The biggest improvement for my sewing skills is that I learned to press seams. I always believe I don't necessarily have to listen to decades of sewing information, so whenever I try something new that's been in the back of my mind for months, it's like a big surprise that it actually works. Anyways, afterwards I sewed the sleeves to the shirt. Just on a little note, um, I originally wanted to make the new Mulan costume from the live action movie, um, but I feel like that movie is kind of in hot waters politically and also just originality. I do think the movie looks great, um, but I'm still doubting if I want to see it. But since the live action movie uh, clearly doesn't have the haircut scene, uh, I just decided to go for this version.
For the purple color, I went for the thrifted tank top, which I cut up. I only needed one strip and I sewed along the pink fabric uh, right sides together. Due to the stretchiness of the fabric, it is a little hard for proper placement when wearing the costume, but I just try to let it rest properly. For the blue waistband, I used the bottom part of the strapless top as there was less elasticity, but it was still strong enough to keep itself up. And for the red waistband, I used some fabric scraps and tied it on my back when putting it on. Afterwards, I got to the skirt and I decided to just keep the waist of the red skirt and I just cut off the bottom at an angle. The white part was literally made from a white rectangle which I then sewed on to the skirt. Okay, it's been two days and I'm surprisingly already done with the costume. So this is my base layer. Again, I have this top and I have the skirt with the white underlayer. So I have all the final materials. Um, let's just see how it looks in total. This is probably like the first garment that I really created myself. Normally I would just modify um, existing pieces. It's not perfect, but I think for one for the shoot, this is pretty all right. Okay, this looks pretty red, honestly. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and... You know, I'm still a beginner cosplayer who hasn't done a lot of stuff. So just to see myself in a full costume, it is pretty awesome. So cutting my hair was kind of the goal for 2019. Um, it's today... January 1st, Happy New Year. Uh, but I'm waiting for a very important prop, so I probably have to wait a few more days until I can actually do the photo shoot and cut my hair. So this is my Mulan costume. I'll take some proper photos in a few days, so see you then. So it's been a few days and I actually wanted to cut off my hair as soon as possible uh, after I finish my costume but I kind of got sick and the search uh, to the perfect prop kind of failed so uh, the prop I was making was a sword and I basically decided to make a paper sword based on YouTube video tutorials. Emphasis on the fact that I am not cutting my hair with a sword neither with craft scissors or fabric scissors or any other scissors not meant for hair. But this is for me really going to be like a photo shoot, so I'm going to have the illusion as if I cut my hair with a sword. So after I took my pictures, I will edit my pictures, uh, mainly because you can see maybe the tape sticking out. Uh, but those are very small edits um, on my costume and myself, I'm not going to edit too much. But I've got everything ready, um, I'm trying to find the last bit of pieces that I need. Uh, and then I can start shooting. So after I was done with the costume, it was time to do the photo shoot. I first wanted to have some pictures of the costume and my hair, which I did standing up, so I don't have much footage of that. The first screenshot I wanted to recreate was Mulan pulling out the sword, and this made very nice pictures with the actual length of my hair. This is very hard to do on your own. Time to do the actual cutting part. Oh, this is exciting. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Like they say, new year, new me. 
Oh, this is satisfying but very sad at the same time. I'm holding my hair. Well, I got a new photo prop. I am very overwhelmed because I went very, very short. I need a moment to recover from this. As I obviously wouldn't cut my hair with a sword, it was the opportunity to cut one of the sides. This then led to the recreation of the first cut, which took me a while to photograph. I tried the whole swooshing thing. The most important thing was to make it look like I did cut it with the sword. And for the rest of my time, I just uh, kept making pictures, cut off the other side, made some more pictures, uh, as well as the final result. I was just trying to have a lot of fun with my own hair. Okay, I think I'm finally <clears throat> done with the pictures. Um, I'm quickly gonna braid this one because it's supposed to be braided before it's donated. It's very weird braiding your own hair while it's on the ground. So my hair isn't completely healthy, 100%, but I think it's healthy enough to be donated. Um, I'm just gonna let the judgment to the organization that I'm donating to. So I hope I managed to take some good pictures because there's no way back now. So I do admit I went really short on my left side. Um, I hope I don't regret anything. I mean, it's already too late to regret it. I mean, I was tired of my hair anyways. And this is really less hair products and less hair maintenance. So the last time I actually cut them uneven, so um, I'm not surprised if I do it again. Both sides are around 50 centimeters, so that's very nice because the minimum is most of the times around 30, so they have some hair to work with. Uh, this time I'm gonna braid it before I'm gonna cut it. I really kind of had to do this um, to kind of properly say goodbye to my hair for some reason. My hair grows very fast, but the older that I get, uh, the more afraid I am that it's not gonna grow back. But at the same time, it's not like I'm doing something with my hair. It's a good topic starter, actually. Especially now that I've cut it and I have to tell people that I'm gonna wait three years again to cut it. Can I also just say that the paper sword that I made really held up? Um, so thank you, Crazy Tutorials, for explaining us how to make paper swords. Anyways, let's get over with this and cut the other braids. I hope I'm in shot. There's no going back. Oh, I'll, I will never get used to this sound. Okay, this is going much easier. And there we have it. I immediately know why I was struggling with the first one that much, because I, I grabbed way too much hair for the first one. I'm kind of worried because this is very uneven and I don't want to go to the hairdressers to get it fixed. Um, normally I want to be able to make a ponytail, but that's not going to be possible. My head's gonna get used to the gravity. It's been a week now and I'm still getting used to this haircut because as you can see, it is very short and I admit I actually cut it way too short because the last time I did this I cut it just a little on top of just just on top of my shoulders so right now i'm just waiting a few weeks until i can fix the length but also start to style it because right now everything is slightly uneven anyways my hair journey for the last few years has come to an end i was very excited to recreate this scene from the 1998 version and i hope you did too so thank you for watching